Hello everyone and welcome, this is Joanna and today I am taking you through a conditioning routine for your split grips and Aisha's deadlift, all of those strength moves that I know multiple of you are working on. This routine will generally work for anyone that wants to get stronger and healthier joints and muscles in the shoulder and upper back and all of that. Um, it is a really good routine. I can recommend it to everyone, not just pole dancers, but of course this is specifically designed for the split grip conditioning, but still it is really good for everyone. So guys, honestly, just follow along. Okay, just do it. Get ready to sweat because it's not an easy routine. I'm just telling you right now. What you will need? Two blocks. Ankle or wrist weights. A stretching mat. If you don't have one like this, um, it's okay. Simply use a normal one. That's all we need. I will also show you guys a few exercises on the pole, on the actual pole. So if you have access to a pole, that's great. If not, maybe just, you know, um, save this video for later and check it out when you're in the pole studio and you can actually do those exercises because they are also really helpful. If you like this video and you would like some more tips and tricks and workout routines and all of that, please click the thumbs up and subscribe below so that I know and then I can keep creating more content for you and try and help you reach your goals. Follow me on Instagram so that you can request workouts and videos and all of that stuff. We're gonna start with a super easy warm up and then we're gonna do all of our cool strengthening exercises. Start by moving your head side to side. You can take your hips with you if you like. Now look up and down, slowly adding your chest and back with it, making the movement bigger. Create big circles with your arms, rotating to the back. Change and rotate them forward. Rotate your forearms in one direction and swap to rotate them in the other. Create big circles with your chest, reaching as far as possible. Rotate in the other direction. Circle with your shoulders to the back. And finally to the front. with our first strengthening exercise. Grab your elastic band and wear it just above your hands. It works the same with both band types. Extend your arms in front of you and push your hands apart. Maintain tension in the band throughout the whole movement. Slowly bring your hands back to the initial position and repeat 20 times. Always control the movement. It is important that you do not release without control. You should feel that burn in your upper back and shoulders. Move the elastic band above your elbows. Start with your elbows at 90 degrees and palm facing each other. Extend your arms in front of you, then up and above your head. Bring them back in front of you and bend your elbows back to 90 degrees. Repeat 10 times. It works the same with both types of elastic bands. When you reach up and above your head with straight arms, make sure that you extend fully throughout your upper back so that the band can go past the top of your head. Suck your stomach in to stay stable in your lower back. Like the previous exercise, keep the tension on the band constantly. Ensure that your hands always stay in line with your elbows and your shoulders. Now we're doing 
doing the exact same but with the band just above our hands again. Repeat 10 times. remember that when I was doing it my shoulders were burning and it was really hard so you guys are doing amazing keep up the good work Okay guys, that's it. My arms are dead. Roll onto your mat and lie on your stomach. Clasp your hands behind your back and straighten your arms if possible. Roll your shoulders backwards. From there, you're going to get some momentum and lift your chest up, trying to reach the floor between your legs with your hands. Look up and over. Keep tension in your legs to keep them on the floor. Repeat 10 times. Then hold at the top for 10 seconds with your legs also elevated. And release. We will repeat this same segment a second time. Hold at the top for 10 seconds with your legs also elevated. Push up into a seal stretch and make yourself comfortable by rolling your shoulders back a little. Push your chest forward and your head up and above. Hold this stretch for a while, then try to get deeper into your upper back. Repeat a few times. Keep pushing your chest forward, creating space in your upper back. Once you've created some extra space, bring your hands closer to your hips and push your chest forward. Look up and over with your head. It is a difficult stretch and you should feel your upper back working. Amazing, keep up the good work. Release. The next strengthening stretch is quite challenging and rather an advanced move. So keep trying, even if it takes you multiple attempts. And if you don't get it today, that's also okay. I'm just showing you this view so you can see what it looks like. Lie on your stomach, place the first block lengthwise around your middle back. The other block comes on top of it, creating the letter T. While doing the stretch, you will push your head against the block, keeping them both in place. Hold onto the blocks and lift yourself up into a seal stretch, pushing your head against the block. Once you're high enough, the pressure will hold the blocks in place and you will be able to properly enter the stretch. Push your chest forward and your head backwards. This will feel pretty challenging, but pretty great in your upper back. And we will do it a second time.
Try to roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. Keep pushing your chest forward and your head back. Rest weights on. With your thumb facing the back of your room, extend your arm up and above your head. Keep it nice and straight. Extend your arm further up and bring it back into a neutral position. The strength should come from your shoulder blade. Make sure your arm stays really stable. Repeat 10 times on each side. You're doing amazingly well and I know this is hard but you're gonna get so much stronger so keep going. Keep going, you're almost there. Well done! Grab your elastic band and wear it just underneath your elbows. Extend your arms above your head. Your thumbs are again facing the back of the room and both palms facing each other. We will repeat the same movement as before, also 10 times. The band helps us keep the proper alignment with our shoulders and arms. Grab a block, lie on your stomach and extend the block away from you. On the video you will see how much I extend through my shoulders. Tuck your tummy under. Now try and push your armpits into the floor. This will create a nice, gentle, active stretch on your shoulders. job so far. Now turn the block around and place it in line with one of your shoulders. Keep your arm extended and lift and lower your arm from one side of the block to the other while always keeping your arm straight. Do 10 reps on each side. The lower your chest and head is to the floor, the harder it will get. You're doing amazing, guys. We just, you know, we can struggle together. <laughs> it's okay. I feel my shoulders so much. Bring the block closer to you and place your elbow on it. Your arm should be bent at a 90 degree angle. Lower your hand toward the floor and lift it back, rotating through your shoulder. Push it as far as possible. The closer to the floor your head is, the harder it gets. This is still super challenging for me, so I've tried showing you the harder version, but it does not look really great. I'm sorry, you can watch me struggle. <laughs> we can struggle together. Repeat whichever version you choose 10 times on each side.
everything is burning. Lift yourself into a plank position. Bring one hand slightly forward and one slightly backwards. Blow yourself into a push-up, bringing the same knee to your elbow that is the furthest back. Lift yourself up, swap your hands and repeat. adds a jump in for your hand swap. Repeat six times on each side, so a total of 12. Let's move on to the pole now. Grab the pole in a split grip. Let go of your outside arm, holding on with your inside arm. Go on your tippy toes, bend your legs and let your arm carry most of your body weight. Use your legs as little as possible. Extend through your shoulders like in the previous exercises and lift yourself back up using your shoulders and shoulder blade. Do 10 reps on each side. Your shoulder should be really burning by now. Stand next to the pole and grab in a twisted split grip. Push through your lower arm to extend it, taking a small step with your outside leg to the side. Bend your lower arm again while bringing your leg back to meet the other leg. Keep your upper arm straight throughout the whole movement. Your upper arm gives you stability and stays strong and engaged all the time. Repeat 10 times on each side. twisted split grip. Step both your feet away to the side of the pole. Perform the same movement as before, bending and strengthening your lower arm. Your upper arm pulls you upwards every time you straighten your lower arm. Repeat 10 times on each side. Well done guys. 
Thanks guys for watching and training with me. Send me your requests on Instagram. So don't forget to follow me, like this video if it was helpful. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel so that I will see you very soon again. And have a lovely day or evening or morning or whatever it is <laughs> when you're at. Okay guys, I hope this video helped. I hope you liked the exercises. I hope they will help you with your training sessions. Give me your feedback and I'm looking forward to reading you very soon. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>